Hi scholars, let's look at Teak 4.5D. This is part two of my videos. It, it says, I, I can solve problems related to perimeter and area of rectangles where dimensions are whole numbers. This one is going to be about area. If you want to learn about perimeter, you need to go to Teak 4.5D and it'll say perimeter on the video title. This one is 4.5D area. So let's get started. To start off, the definition of area is the amount of square tiles that fit in a designated space. I always like to say area is like an array. An array is the number of anything. An array um, outside of area, it could be an array of Coke cans, an array of markers, an array of chairs or whatever. But an area is like an array. You have you are trying to figure out the number of whatever that fit inside a designated area. So in area, we measure in square whatever. So it could be square feet, square centimeters, square inches, square yards. And so it's like saying that this is, like if it was square feet, then you're saying that this is one, one foot, one foot, one foot, one foot. So it's like a one by one. And so how many um, square tiles that are one feet by one feet can fit in that area? Or if it's yards, this will be one yard, one yard. So how many squares that, are, that have dimensions of one yard can fit? So here's an example. If I have a designated area and I'm saying that this is five feet, I am basically saying this two three, four, five feet. This is one, two, three, four feet. Okay. And I'm saying that if this is one foot, this is one foot, then this is a square foot. So the question is how many square tiles that are one foot long all the way around can fit in that space? Well, the only way you can do that is by multiplying the number of uh, the length times the width. That's the way you're going to find how many fit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 5 feet by 4 feet is going to give you 20 square feet tiles or squares or whatever that can fit in that space. So suppose you get a rectangle and you're told that it's 4 inches by 6 inches and you are expected to find the area. So the way you want to kind of approach this is that it's like saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 inches this way, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 inches that way. So the question is, how many square inches can fit in that space? And so, you know, instead of counting all of them, you, it's just like an array. You just got to do 6 times 4, and that's going to give you 24 square inches. So you can write it like this, or you can write 24 square inches like that. The reason there's a 2 in the corner is because you multiplied by two numbers. Now, if you know what volume is, it's length times width times height because it's 3D. It's third dimensional. And so then you would put a 3 in the corner instead if it was volume. So it's very important that you put the two in the corner or you recognize that it's square inches because you're letting you're letting the person know that it's it's squares that are inches that fit in that space. Okay, so let's say this is um, the measurements of a backyard and it's eight yards by five yards. What is the area? So again, you can kind of envision that this is, whoa, that was really bad. Hold on. There we go. So you can envision that there's five yards this way and eight yards this way. So there are squares in here and it's, it's, it's one yard by one yard. So they want to know how many of those squares can fit in this space. So again, instead of counting all of those squares, you can just do 8 times 5, and that's going to tell you how many total um, squares can fit. So in this, it would be 
40 square yards or 40 yards with a little two in the corners, yards squared. So I feel like this is pretty easy. I want you to solve. I also want you to try to draw this and um, draw the lines to show the square centimeters and solve. Um, press pause and then press play when you're ready to check. Okay, so this is four, this is seven. Okay, so if I want to know the total number of squares, I can do seven times four because it's just like an array. Seven times four equals 28, and it's 28 centimeters squared or 28 square centimeters. So here's a question where there's no drawing. You need to read the question and draw a picture to help you answer. It says, David needs new carpet for the living room. The length of the room is 18 feet, and the... Whoops, that's supposed to say width. I am so sorry. And the width is 12 feet. What is the area of the floor space so he knows how much carpet to get? So I want you to press pause, think about you know, how the living room is laid out, and uh, solve. And then press play when you're ready to check. Okay, so the living room. We have here 18 feet, and this is 12 feet. Now, this is like the length and the width, but remember, carpet is covering up the living room here. Sorry. So, carpet is going to be laid out over here. So, that's why it's important to find the area of all this space because that's how much carpet he needs to buy. So you would do 18 times 12, and so in that situation you would have to do two digit by two digit multiplication. So that's a longer math problem. I got 216 as my answer, so that's 216 square feet, or 216 feet squared. So remember, it's like Two, it's 216 little squares that fit in that space that are one foot by one foot. Okay, let's look at this question. It says the width is four inches and the length is twice the size of the width. What is the area? So there is two parts to this question. First part is you have to figure out what the length is and then you have to figure out the area. Okay, so width is four inches, length is twice the size of the width. So twice means times two, so four times two equals eight. So I know the length is eight inches. Now I need to do eight times four, and that equals 32 inches squared, or 32 square inches. And again, it's like saying you have 32, 32 squares that fit in that space. Okay, let's look at another problem that's kind of like similar like the last one. It says the length is 16 miles, width is half of the length, what is the area? So in this situation, I have to find out the width and then the area, and the width is half of the length. So if you think about it, this is basically what half meet, this is basically what half looks like. Half is when you are splitting something with somebody, and it's 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 something broken into two. So if you have 16 miles and you're splitting it, you have to divide it by two. So the width is eight miles. So then to solve this, I have to do 16 times eight, which I'm gonna have to do this way. It's 128 miles squared or 128 square miles. Now, this is really hard to imagine, but it's like saying 128 squares fit in here. Obviously, this is a scaled down version, but think 128 squares, that is one mile by one mile fitting in that space. So area is all about space filled up or um, uh, something covering um, a designated space. Here's one that I would like you to solve. 
Press pause, solve the problem, press play when you're ready to check. Okay, width is 3 centimeters, length is 3 times the width. So 3 times means exactly what um, it says, 3 times, and then you put the width. So the length is actually 9 centimeters. And then to find area, you do 9 times 3. So that's 27 centimeters squared or 27 square centimeters. We're going to do one more question where there's no picture and I'm just going to give you information and you have to draw and then solve. Okay, so here's another problem for you. The length is 24 feet. The width is half of the length. What is the area? Press pause, solve the problem, and press play when you're ready to check. Okay, so it says here that we have the length and then the width is half of it. And remember we talked about half meaning splitting between two, so it's divided by two. So the width is 12, and then area is length, taking the length times the width. So I'm gonna have to do this kind of multiplication. So 288 feet squared, or 288 square feet. We're going to do a few more practice problems where this time you're getting the area and you have to figure out the other piece. Okay, so let's look at another question. Notice it's giving you the area and it tells you the width, but it wants to know the length. So in these type of questions, I strongly recommend you draw a picture. So it's telling me all of this is 45 square feet. And it's telling me the width is 5. It wants to know what's the length. Now, if you've watched my division videos, I tell them that this is the way the division symbol is supposed to look like because it's like saying 45 divided by 5 equals the answer up here. It's basically saying that this is the array. These are how many pieces are in the array, and you are giving me the dimensions. So if I had, you know, 20 and this is 4, then this would be 5. 5 times 4 equals 20. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Here's what the division problem would look like. This symbol here is the corner of an array. So when you get, are given area and you're given one side and you need to find the other side, you have to do division. So you have to do 45 divided by 5 and that equals the length. So in this situation, the answer would be 9 feet. Let's look at another example. Okay, here's another question. Area is 100 feet squared. Width is 2 feet. What is the length? I want you to press pause, draw a picture, solve, and press play when you're ready to check. Okay, so a good picture would be this. This is all 100. The width is 2 we want to find the length. So 100 divided by 2 equals 50. So then my answer is 50 feet. Now one thing I want to share with you is that even if they give you the length and they want to know the width, it doesn't matter. Just, just make sure you put your given information on this side and what you're trying to find over here. That way it'll trigger your brain to know Hey, this is a division question. I need to find the other side.